Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it is Friday. So that means it is time for Fridays with Fred. Fridays with Fred is the day where we go through, I guess every Friday we go through my progress on the project I am making from this book. This book is Knitting the Neighborhood, Mr. Rogers, of the official knitting patterns of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I think that's a better way of saying that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We voted and um, decided the first pattern I would make is called The Beginnings Cardigan. The pattern is by Carla Patrick. This book overall is by an editorial board and each pattern has its name designer. Um, from what I can tell, the patterns, or I guess just this pattern, is only in the book. I wasn't able to find it any other place. I'm not sure about all the other patterns. I'll let you know as I work through them. So, I am working on the sleeve. The sweater I'm making is for my husband, Brian. Um, I finished the back panel, the two front panels, now I've got two sleeves and the collar to finish, and then we're done. What? I'm hoping to have this done for him to wear in the fall. So my goal is finishing it sometime in September so we can have it in October. We'll see. Um, so this purple stitch marker here, uh, right here, is where I was last week. Here I am this week. So I have finished, there's two grades of increases. I finished the first grade of increases and now I'm gonna work through the second grade and then you start decreasing because it's a raglan style sweater. So we'll decrease through the sleeves through that raglan and then we'll be done. Then we'll start at sleeve two. The yarn I am using is Hayfield Bonus Aaron Tweed. What have I done? Where are the straps on the bag? Here we go. It is, um, I got it from the wool warehouse. You may be able to get it other places. I know uh, Little Knits said they had some select colors recently. I haven't checked in the last couple weeks to see if they still have any available, but I am quite enjoying it. It's got 20% wool, but it doesn't feel super wooly. So to me, I, I think it's, unless you have like a very severe wool allergy, it might be an okay one to use. Um, I don't have any wool allergies or aversions or any issues there. So I'm kind of lucky in that regard. <laughs> Um, tools. I'm using my Chow Gu interchangeable needle set. They are the five and a half inch tips. The steel, Brian got it for me for Christmas last year. My bag is a whisk bag. I won from D at D's Creative Hands. Book I purchased from VogueKnitting.com at a 50% off sale. I've seen this book all over the place. So if you are interested, check it all out. I do have a link down below to an Amazon just because I think that is the most accessible for most people, but it has also been consistently the most expensive option. So I would say do your research, get what you think is best for you because we all want to craft sensibly, right? Um, but yeah, this book, I, I think this is quite a nice book. It's got like eight different sweater patterns in it, a bunch of accessories and toys and blankets and yeah i think it's gonna be a fun one i'm excited to get working through this sweater and start something else you never know we're gonna have another vote to see what is the the next project um so i'll put a poll i don't know why i'm going through this now because it's going to be like a month or so but i'm preparing us <laughs> There'll be a poll eventually on the community tab and then I'll do one in my Facebook group as well. And then I'll just combine the votes between the two and we'll see who wins or what project wins. I'm not gonna put a sweater up for nomination because I'd like to not do sweater after sweater. Just give myself a little break, do something different. And then for the next one, I'll probably put a sweater option back on the list. You never know. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you guys later though.